Can we engineer the weather? Cloud seeding is a form of weather modification that can produce what we want more or less of, more rain or snow, or even smaller hail pellets. China is building the world's largest weather modification system to artificially enhance rain that will cover an area of over 2.1 million square miles by 2025. Today at least 52 countries across the globe are using some sort of weather modification program. While it may sound too good to be true, the technology has been around for more than 75 years. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets. Groups of droplets form water vapor, or ice crystals. By itself, this water vapor isn't dense enough to fall to the ground as precipitation. Instead, it rises until it becomes supercooled and condenses around tiny particles of dust in the sky, called condensation nuclei. It takes billions of these condensed water droplets to form a visible cloud. In cloud seeding, a seeding agent is used as the condensation nuclei. Typical seeding agents are chemicals such as silver iodide, potassium iodide, or solid carbon dioxide. These are shot into clouds by rockets or sprayed into clouds using drones or aircraft. Unattached supercooled water vapor molecules in the clouds condense around these particles. The condensed water vapor droplets then group together, becoming larger and heavier. This process continues until the droplets are large enough to fall as rain. Recently, the UAE created artificial rain using drones. These drones targeted certain clouds with electrical discharges through concentrated lasers to force water droplets to pool in the air, triggering the desired rainfall. Today, the largest cloud seeding system in the world is found in China. China creates 55 billion tons of artificial rain a year. Other countries are also looking to ramp up cloud seeding efforts in the hope of increasing precipitation. Thailand has an ambitious aim to remove water shortages in 98% of the country's drought-affected areas by 2037. The idea behind cloud seeding is to create rain in regions that are most affected by droughts, thus reducing the impact of droughts. In 2015, cloud seeding increased the local rainfall in Texas by about 34%. The technology can also be used to manage hail. According to an estimate, hailstorms in the U.S. cause an average of $15 billion in damage to homes, cars, and crops each year. Cloud seeding increases the number of ice pellets in hail-producing clouds, but decreases the size of each pellet. This can reduce the damage caused by hail. Cloud seeding can also clear away fog by turning it into precipitation, improving visibility around airports. But there is a catch. For cloud seeding to work, specific atmospheric conditions must exist. Cloud seeding can't create clouds. It can only add particles to clouds which interact with the water vapor already present in the air. Also, cloud seeding does not always go as planned. In 2009, China performed cloud seeding in an attempt to end a drought, resulting in a temperature drop and a snowstorm that closed roads around Beijing. There are also concerns about unwanted ecological changes. Rain in one area might bring drought to another, which could lead to ecological imbalances. After all, water that falls from the sky must go somewhere. If that extra precipitation falls in a place where it cannot be absorbed into the ground, then it could trigger flooding. Today, water shortages and floods affect every continent. Around 1.2 billion people, or almost one-fifth of the world's population, live in water-scarce areas. Another 500 million people face intermittent scarcity and around 1.47 billion are directly exposed to the risk of intense flooding. While cloud seeding is not a permanent solution, it may help to reduce the number of those affected.